Good evening and thanks for joining us for tonight's edition of Newswatch Nightcap. I'm Jada Huddleston. Topping stories at this hour. The Neoga Agriculture and the Future Farmers of America programs were cut two years ago due to budget cuts. This year, the district decided to bring back the program and the students and the chapter's advisor are excited for the program to grow and recruit more students. With a program that's generally known to attract more males, Neoga student Blair Banning says she wanted to join to help break the stereotype. So when they, I heard they had at construction, I, it's kind of a cliche, girls can't do construction and stuff, but I've grown up doing it my whole life. So I wanted to learn more to help my dad out. Banning says agriculture classes have helped her and other students gain skills that benefit them in future careers. FFA advisor Michaela Smith says she's seen a lot from Banning and her other students this year and is glad they're able to have the hands-on experience again. Actually saw the potential that this school had for an ag education department in an FFA chapter. And the fact that the school saw that as well and really opened up the opportunities to have these classes and to have the FFA chapter gave me inspiration that they saw the potential that I did and they were going to help me get these students to where they needed to be. The ag program offers introductory courses, ag construction, and mechanic courses. Smith says she hopes this will attract new students. That students understand what FFA can give them and what ag education can give them. There are a lot of traditional farming students here in the school district, but there are also a lot of non-traditional students. And I would like to reach out to those non-traditional students and show them here's what FFA can offer you. In Neoga, I'm Jada Huddleston for WEIU Newswatch. Smith says the Neoga chapter has approximately 70 students in high school and about 50 more prospective students in eighth grade. 